Let's understand the problem statement here. According to a study, the approximate level of intelligence of a person can be calculated using the formula i is equal to 2 plus y plus 0.5x. So we need to write a C program that will produce a table of values of i, y and x where y varies from 1 to 6. That means y is initialized to 1 and uh, the loop iterates until y is less than or equal to 6. And for each value of y, x varies from, that means we have a nested loop here. So x varies from 5.5 .5 to 12.5 in steps of 0 0.5. So x is initialized to 5.5 .5 and the loop executes until x is less than or equal to 12.5. So the value of x for each iteration of this loop, value of x increments by 0 0.5. So this is the problem statement. We will take two for loops and produce the result that is produce the table with values i, y and x. Okay, so let's get started. I'll take integer variable y. So we need to multiply x by we need to increment x by 0 0.5. So I'll take it as floating point value. So for y is equal to one initial value, this for loop uh, iterates until y is less than or equal to six. And for each iteration of this for loop, y value increments by 1. So inner for loop. So I'll initialize x value to 5.5 .5 and iterate this inner for loop until x is less than or equal to 12.5. And we will increment the value of x by 0 0.5 for each iteration of this inner for loop. We can even write x plus is equal to 0 0.5. This is called compound assignment statement. So we have already explained this in detail in other video. So now I'll write the formula that is i is equal to 2 plus y plus 0 0.5 into x. We need to explicitly mention the multiplication here. So let me print out the table here. So first I'll print out i value. So i is floating point value. So I'll so the format specifier is percentage f. So x is equal to percentage f as well because it's also a floating point variable. So y is equal to percentage d because y is of type integer. Okay, I'll introduce a new line character here. So i, x and y. So that's it. So all the logic is present inside this. We have two for loops that is nested for loops. Also remember we increment x value by 0 0.5 for every iteration of this inner for, for loop. So let's compile and execute this program. So this is the table of content for i, x and y values. So inner for loop executes from 5.5 to 12.5 that means it iterates for 15 times the outer for loop executes for 6 times so 15 into 6 is 90 so 90 values will be printed. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.